Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010, User Guide Lesson 28, Mail Merge Wizard. In this video, I'll show the step-by-step -step process of doing a mail merge with a wizard. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about mail merges, and specifically we're going to be talking about how to use the mail merge wizard in Word. Uh, so a mail merge is when you combine your main document with a list of database records, to create a custom copy of your main document for each of the records. And some common things that people use mail merges for would be letters, envelopes, and labels. So to do a mail merge, you're going to need a main document and a data document. So if you look at this letter, this is our main document. And we'll pull up our data document, which for a letter example would just be an Excel sheet with uh, your recipient's names and addresses. So to do a mail merge, what will happen is you will merge these two documents so for each one of these recipients you'll have an individual letter customized to that specific person. So now I'm going to show you how to do this with your mail merge wizard. Alright, so since mail merges can be a little tricky at first, a great tool that Word has to make mail merges easy is the mail merge wizard. So what it does is it walks you through step by step of how to do a mail merge and it prompts you along the way. So the first step is to go up to mailings, click start mail merge, and click step by step mail merge wizard. And you'll see this little taskbar pop up. And the first thing you'll need to do is choose what type of document you're using. So for this example, we're going to do a letter, but you could also do an email message, an envelope, label, or directory. So then you'll just come down and click next starting document. Next, you can choose if you want to use the current document, start from a temple, or start from an existing document. So here we're going to choose our current document, but you could also use another document if you'd like. Once that's selected, you click Next, Select Recipients. So this is going to be the list of recipients that we're using. You have the option of choosing an existing list. You can select your contacts from Outlook, or you can type a new list. Since we already have a list created, we're going to use an existing list, and then we're going to browse to find that existing list. So our list is on our desktop and it's just called list, so we will select it. And here you can choose which sheet to use for your list. We'll choose sheet one because that's where our recipients are, but you also have the choice of choosing sheet two or three, or whatever you've named these tabs. Select OK, and you see that a list of your recipients pops up. Now if you don't want all of your recipients to be included in your mail merge, you can unselect the names of the ones that you don't want to include. Uh, for this example, we're just going to select them all. So you'll just select OK, and then you select next write your letter. So this is the part where you will write your letter, which we've already done, and you can add in um, the fields for your mail merge. So since this is a letter, we want to have uh, the return address in the letter and a salutation. So to do this, you'll choose from these fields. Now mail merge already has some common fields pre-created for you. And they include address block, greeting line, electronic postage, or you can choose more items. So you'll put your cursor where you want your fields to be entered, and you could choose address block. And once you select address block, um, the insert address block box will pop up and you can choose how you'd like the recipient's name to be formatted. You can choose just their first name or their full name, all these variations. Uh, you can also insert the company name, or you can choose to unselect that to not have the company name inserted. Or you can have the postal address selected or unselected, depending on your preferences. And you can also preview how it will look for each recipient in your data records. So if you like how this looks, you can just select OK, and this address block will be inserted into your document. Now you also have the choice of inserting fields manually, and to do this you're going to come to More Items, and these are all the fields that are in your document. So for example, if you want to insert a salutation, which you'll see in our document, we've already created our salutation field, which is the person's title and last name. All you'll do is select salutation and click insert, and then you can click close, and it'll be inserted into your document. You can insert as many fields in whatever order as you want. Um, just to show you an example, we're gonna click more items, and we'll do city insert, state insert, zip insert, and we'll click close. And then once you're into your document, you can put a space in between your city and state. And you can also add commas. You can format however you need to. So once you're done with that, you're going to click Next Preview Your Letters. 
and you see that your fields are being automatically pulled into your letter. And if you come over to preview your letters, you can switch in between to see how each letter looks for the various recipients. While you're here, you can also decide to edit your recipient list. You can exclude this recipient from showing in your list. So we just click exclude and that person is no longer showing. If you're satisfied with all your changes, you can click complete the merge and this will pull up two options. You can print your document, which if you click the print button, will pull up this window where you can choose to print all records, you can print your current record, or you can choose from a specific range of pages. So we're going to click print all and then it'll pull up your printing options. You can also choose to edit your letters individually. So if you click this, you can again choose your current record, all your records, or from a certain page mount. So if you click all, what this does is it'll pull up a brand new document that includes all of your custom letters. So if you'll just scroll, you'll notice that each letter has its own page. And this is a new document, so you still have your original document. Um, but it makes it very easy to edit these letters if you want to. And that is how you use the Mail Merge Wizard. Thank you for joining Nextar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 28 Mail Merge Wizard. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/nextara.